Rocket Science Banjo, lesson number three, the cluck. This, oh no, the cluck. Oh no, the cluck. This is the big one. This is the one everybody's been waiting for and fearing. It's the last thing they want to meet. This is the difference between Clawhammer Banjo and Pete Seeger. And this is the difference between folk singers and people who drive string bands straight off walls. The cluck is performed, in my case, with these two fingers. While I do my basic frail with this one. But some people use all three for the cluck. Some people use these two for the cluck. I've seen people who use this one for the frail and these two for the cluck. It's all over the map. You just have to pick the fingers that you're comfortable with. When I'm clucking, I almost always use my index finger to play. When I'm not clucking, I have a tendency to move back and forth between these two. You have to figure out what you like. Now, I'm exaggerating the motion of the cluck in order to make it clear. But a little later, I'll play some where I don't exaggerate the motion. And you'll be able to see that it's actually a very small motion. The cluck starts with a normal followed by the cluck stroke with these two fingers then the thumb again so that you have over the head so that it'll be a little clearer to see. I tend to normally do this at the 19th fret where you get basically the loudest, nastiest sounding mode, or note I should say, of the harmonic series so that you get an incredibly noisy sound. And as you can hear, that sound is 90% harmonic and only 10% fundamental. And that's why people can hear the cluck half a mile away. And I'm not joking. Higher sound carries farther. And that's what you want, because you're the banjo player. And the banjo player is the engine, the rocket engine, that drives a string band. If you want to sing folk songs, don't do that. You, you do that and it chops up your music into little tiny bits and pieces and your words don't make any sense anymore. But you want to keep a fiddler on their toes and keep them in rhythm. We'll do it. So, the cluck. speed without exaggerating the motion so that you can see that really it doesn't involve quite as much rocking. That's not low speed, is it? That's low speed. Now one of the things you can do with the cluck is that you can actually leave out the melody and do nothing but clucks. I have to make reference here. What? That's what I was going to play. Here's a, a tune completely unrecognizable because basically I'm missing with the melody note and only hitting the clucks. Basically, all clucks, no melody. Here it is with the melody. 